I'm, I'm going to give I you a point for care close. for a fuck. That's pretty close, I think, in terms in of polite idiom. expletives. Is that the expression you've ever... I think... Uh, no, no, it's not an expression I've ever used in anger. <laughs> <laughs> Although not all sexual experiences have to be filled with anger. <laughs> Just all in my experience. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. OK. Do you masturbate very angrily? Furiously, yeah. <laughs> this team really seems to be bonding. <laughs> Back. This next round is all about sport in the 80s. Ski jumper Eddie Edwards' performance at the 88 Winter Olympics earned him the nickname Eddie the Eagle, because eagles can't ski jump either. <laughs> Cycling was revolutionised in the 80s with the rise of BMX. Now BMX is an Olympic sport, which is odd. If they're allowing things I did at school into the Olympics, I don't know why they don't go the whole hog and include wedgies, Chinese burns and fingering. <laughs> Write some sporting questions for you from the 80s. Jimmy? Yeah? What's fingering? What's... what... Uh... <laughs> I've got to be careful with this, because when I was at school, there was an old teacher, she was about 90, right, and... Uh... I don't know why the way no, this is listen, going. No, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Someone had stolen a ruler, we got to the end of the class, and she wouldn't let anyone go home, and she said... And she said, right, unless somebody fingers the culprit... <laughs> No. Carol, if you hadn't have had that haircut, you would know what fingering was. <laughs> 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 Of your own misfortune. Well, I, I would explain to you, but I think it's probably better if Mickey just lets you know during the next part. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I asked you what unusual Twitter hashtag fans of Susan Boyle were encouraged to use. <laughs> what did you think? Susan <laughs> <laughs> loves it in the arse. <laughs> James? James? <laughs> James Corden! James Corden! Why won't you take this seriously? <laughs> Jack Whitehall, you will not be allowed to sit with James Corden in the future. We're, we're not far off, off the answer! answer. We're, right. we're not far off And you don't know that no. she doesn't! You can't get <laughs> 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 Hashtag. <laughs> what is it? Tell me, James. I can't Tell say me, James. I can't <laughs> this is where I do myself in, and I forget we're recording this, and it's going to be on TV. <laughs> I just think we're having a great time eating pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no. You won a Tony Award. And she clearly loves it in the end. <laughs> 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 OK, uh, what, what, what did you go for, Richard, Gabby? Hashtag be more racist. <laughs> <laughs> to promote her album, you thought it was yeah, hashtag... It, it didn't work. That... No, no. <laughs> well, no, I said, I said unusual, <laughs> and that would be... Yeah, it's unusual. Oh, it's certainly unusual. Wrong, I would even say. You've got a bloody album to sell. You do what you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Gabby, what did, what did you put on your side of the board? Uh, Susan... Album party, so it looks like Sue's anal bomb party. <laughs> yeah! How <laughs> yeah. are you telling me that Sue is having an anal bum party and not enjoying it? Can I just say, can I just say, it would be great if they are right though, wouldn't it? If it because it, it was Susan uh, album party, but if it was Sue's anal bum party and people turned up expecting <laughs> music and it was just boil with a load of lube just going. It could be. <laughs> but all bum, what bums aren't anal? I mean, there's a redundancy within the hashtag. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, that is so ah, true. The redundancy yeah, yeah. within the hashtag. <laughs> and that should be the name of your name. Anusless bum <laughs> is not a bum, it's a back. Thank you, Jack. Correct. And there's a fact. <laughs> okay, what do those two men have in common? They both found a documentary nobody watched. <laughs> Don't touch her there. <laughs> Lordy, you just do that every now and again, don't you? For about ten minutes. You're like a cuckoo clock. <laughs> All right, now, so let's see, what, what answers did you get for that one? Uh, no, we've okay, got, no, but... They both have sexy times with cars. <laughs> OK, you've gone for Dara and Davina? They like to shag cars. Uh, but we've gone for they're both on a documentary nobody watched. <laughs>
<laughs> there's a groundswell of support for you. But no, a lot of people watch it. You two are absolutely right. Both men uh, like to make the sweet love with cars. Tell her, have a little look. Oh. <laughs> that was a pube. That was a genuine pube. Oh, my God. There was another bit in it which you just see him. He's wandering around the car park with no pants or trousers on. And then... Um, and he, he wanks on his car. No, oh, yeah. no! Oh, no! It's brilliant. It was a brilliant documentary. That's a Top Gear challenge, I'd like to see. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what nickname was given to Ronald Reagan's plan to build a new defence system in space? Mm. So, Sue wants to know what nickname was given to Ronald Reagan's anti-missile system. You've got to write down the answer. Do you remember the Cold War? Do you remember that, those heady days of the Cold War? You no, know, I lived in um, permanent fear of nuclear extinction. The, uh, you, back then, especially mm. aged around 10 or 11. What, what was that cartoon that came out? There was a cartoon that came out that was just terrifying. Oh, when the wind yeah, blows. Yeah, blows. What was that for? Oh, just to scare me. Come yeah. on, darling, let's go under the door. Oh, I feel cold, darling. <laughs> this uh, I was the most grim thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and there was that terrible so idea that if, you, <laughs> if it was coming, you had to urinate on a cloth. What? And put what? it over what? your face. What? <laughs> what? Just no. No, that's just, that's what I told my brother anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't know what to do with a body like that. I think I'd find that you a bit just intimidating. Play with it. Yeah, but it, like it's too perfect. You know, I, 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 you know, I want someone that's going to sort of take control a little bit more. Like, give me Serena Williams any day, you know, <laughs> over that, because that would intimidate me. Serena Williams, she'd just get in, shove my face into the pillow, wipe <laughs> me around a bit, wipe her dick on the curtain, and leave. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Okay. Uh, finally, I asked you whose number was 0891. 50, 50, 50. I've gone for a gay chat. Yeah, me right. too. Yeah, but like, it probably had some, but it was oh, eight, nine, one, fifty, 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 1, 50, 50, 50. And there was like guys going, like, no, beefcake No, they went, it went like this. He went, if you're sat around at home, make gay friends on the telephone. <laughs> oh, eight, nine, <laughs> one, 50, 50, 50, 50. And they're all doing this kind of like, yeah. yeah. And did it go chat back at the end? It did go, well, you're entirely wrong, by the way. Oh. With, with, oh. the, with the gay chat, it was it was chat back is the right answer. Oh. Oh. It's been replaced now, obviously, by those late night women standing there in their underwear holding a phone. <laughs> the babe station thing, yeah. They're weird though, because they're always like, "Oh yeah, do you want to talk to me? Do you want to talk to girls in your area?" And they always say, "In your area." It's like I don't want them in my area. Some of the <laughs> shit I'm going to say to them, I want them as far away as possible. <laughs> bump into one of these women, like, if I'm, like, shopping with my mother in Tesco's, like, and she like, and recognises my voice, oh, it's Jackie, you know, it's putting your finger up his ass. Like, <laughs> Why do they always wobble their bums around? <laughs> they get up on their knees and they start shaking their bottom vigorously as if something might fall out of it. It's <laughs> always up there that they don't want up there. And they say, they say, please help me, there's something up my bum. Shake it, shake it! <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's they're, hard to do. It has to be said, they're very bad mimes. They really have... A basic physical theatre training would help these ladies so much, like, because <laughs> they're going, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm having great... You're going miles, calm down. Just, I'm not chasing you around the kitchen, right? Yeah, just... just oh, yeah... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. It's the birdie dance. You're doing the birdie dance. <laughs> oh, you like the birdie dance, don't you? Oh, you like the birdie dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to just set them different physical challenges. It's really, it's really windy. You're stuck in a glass box. I like you walking, walking up the stairs, walking up the stairs. <laughs> 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 Such a good idea. There, take the tablecloth off the table, but leave all the glasses on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty whore. <laughs> I think we've got to get on the phone to Baby Station right now. <laughs> Come up in the lift, you slag. <laughs> 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 You're stuck in the lift. You're thirsty. You've been there for hours. <laughs> You're desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you call? There's no one there. You're shouting. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Here comes the man, he's opening the doors. You're so pleased to see him. His, his cock's enormous. <laughs> Okay. Is it me or is it her saying I killed my father? Very, very naughty. A little bit sexy. <laughs> She's lovely, Anna Friel, but she didn't sound like that in Brookside, did she? In Bryuki. In Brookside, she was a lesbian, but I'm reliably informed she is now back on solids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. That is not. That's not the right answer. Uh, Alan and Jack, what have you scribbled? And I'm saying scribble now Listen. because. I know I'm going to sound like Mrs Slocum, but my pussy went on the next line. <laughs> <laughs> I could murder some pussy, but I didn't know that it was going to... I thought you'd show the whole lot, so my pussy is down there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your pussy is where? <laughs> my pussy's on line five. <laughs> Which sounds like... <laughs> babe cast. <laughs> my pussy's on line five. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting you through. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm currently in the UK promoting my record, One of the Boys. But what event would have likely messed up all my plans if I had been here in March? Katie Perry, then. What? What? I was so... I was focusing on the beret. <laughs> yes, you, you're very bad at looking at things and actually taking in I information, can't, aren't you? I yes. can't watch can I and say? hear. <laughs> so can I just say... <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to tell people what I whispered to you. That's why he's whispered. <laughs> well, sorry. What did he say, James? This what did he say? This is what it's like being on a team with Sean. You know, crying and laughing, talking about insulting kids. <laughs> comes up, I went, what do you think? <laughs> you went, she's got amazing tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I know. <laughs> Isn't she the girl who sung I Kissed a Girl? girl. I liked yeah. it. And I liked that would be a hit if it was exactly the same music, but the lyrics were, I snogged a bloke and I loved it. <laughs> I sucked a cock and I liked it. <laughs> you realise we're just going to edit that bit and use it as a trail? <laughs> Maybe you can have the video, it could be Michael sucking a cock and then somebody going, hang on, Michael, why don't I try a cup of tea instead? <laughs> <laughs> it all works. How low do they have to get before you can officially say they're dangerous? <laughs> that, you know, it could be a trip hazard. I think it's... <laughs> as soon as they're hitting the toilet water, I think you need to have an opportunity. <laughs> have you noticed, okay. Mickey, that uh, the older men get, the testicles become a slightly deeper colour? The like, colour. Yeah, like um, <laughs> like the way beef ages nicely. <laughs> Siri, what colour are Jonathan Ross's bollocks? Just checking on that. Checking on that. They'll find a website. You'd like me to search the web for what colour are Jonathan Ross's bollocks? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just a website called Jonathan Ross's Bollocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. These four shapes were Sandy Toxvig. I imagine you got this. She bloody did as well. <laughs> well it's the aerials from the Teletubbies. Is there nothing oh, you don't we, know? We got it too. Did we you get it as well? Teletubbies. What did you kill our alarm for? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you got uh, you got what big nasty? I thought they were road signs. Like one is yield, the other one's carry on. The other one is there's a highway that you know the ones that go up in the sky and then a roundabout. <laughs> and actually, if you, you, know, have you got a driving license? <laughs> no. I'm going to take it away. I already <laughs> lost it. <laughs> but it wasn't for misreading road signs. <laughs> Pinky was the one who was accused of being gay by um, Jerry Fulwell, the evangelical preacher, um, because he had the triangle on his head mm. and he was purple, which is apparently a gay colour, and carried a handbag. Mm. And he was sucking loads of dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine getting a blowy off her. Uh... Do you know, Imagine, I'm really well, trying. Do you know, really know what would be lovely? It'd be lovely to have something to hold on to. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little handrail. <laughs> Tubby custard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these people are sick. These people are sick. <laughs> they are sick, my lad. You're a lot of fun, Winkleman. <laughs> OK. <laughs> it's over to the Channel 4 newsroom. Uh, once again, Jon Snow has Sorry. adapted. Oh, yeah. oh, it's Love, a show. John. Sorry. Love John. Love John. A controversial John. debate was sparked into life yesterday by a girl who admitted 
to indulging in lip service with members of the same sex. In a short statement, the girl was unapologetic, simply saying, I liked it. Her boyfriend's feelings on the matter, however, remain unclear. The girl also admitted that although it felt so wrong, it also felt so right, and that she'd been spurred on by the taste of the girl's cherry chapstick. Well, we've all done things we regret in college. Christian? Can I, can I just officially say that that's porn for me. He's the dream. Yeah. Really? He's Sue, Davina? the yeah. dream. Really? In a second, yeah. like that, out Man. by the bins. He's gorgeous. Ah, ah. <laughs> Sorry, but, but do the buy the bins thing again because my wank bank wasn't on. I'm just saying, uh, whatever uh, he wanted, little Snow with his jaunty tie yeah. and those eyebrows. I hear you, sister. You know what I mean? Every time. Mm -hmm. Davina, Claudia, would you double team Jon Snow? Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, wow. If you're watching, John, good luck. <laughs> Really? Claudia wants to do him by the bins. Yeah. By the bins. That was <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> by the bins, Winkleman and Snow, while McCall watches on. Oh, that, is a oh. that is a cover of heat, though. I'd buy that. And would you, would you, dress, would you dress up as tramps? <laughs> yes. Send you a love in love, tramps in love. And also, yeah. we'd go the whole, whole role-play. Yeah. Have you got any spare change? And he'd go, no, I don't, but... Look at my look at my red socks, and I go. Oh, let me just check. Oh, I'm not wearing anything underneath my mat. <laughs> <laughs> I actually need to lie down. I love them. To the answers at the end of that bizarre conversation. Okay, I ask you what happened to David Cameron outside his local Tesco. Right. Sadly, yeah. he didn't make love to Jon Snow. <laughs> You've okay. been snowed. He says that at the end. <laughs> Oh, I see it snowing. <laughs> I see it snowing. Yes. Snowing on your White face. Say bell jingle and jing jingle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you Thanks, think he Dara. might be watching? He <laughs> I think he might be I watching I think he'll this. be told about it. <laughs> Even if he isn't. Even if he's out of the country, the minute he gets back, there'll be a text on his phone going, Winkleman and McCall want to double-team you by some pins. <laughs> <laughs>